Blessed day, my people. So in today's video, we're going to talk about a dancehall artist who is currently calling out Sir P. And basically, I say Sir P is one of them people who are actually a cause a lot of war and crime in Jamaica based on the information we put out. You understand? The person said the information we put out is not credible. And him actually cause like gangs and them people if we go against them one another. You see it? So I play the video. And as usual, only can tell more than think. Also, we're going to talk about female entertainer Tifa finally addressing the fallout with Ramesh. Also, we're going to talk about Tony Mataran and thanking persons for the support that them show him after he recently did a surgery. Also, we're going to talk about Ivan speaking out from behind bars. But not only that, my people, it seems like Ivan don't know which part our baby there. Boy, the whole situation sad. Also, we're going to talk about Elephant Man denying going to any of Diddy parties. And of course, we're talk about Puff Daddy. Remember one time Elephant Man used to be signed to him. So Elephant Man, I try to clear him name because it is alleged that Puff did a keep some freaky and some fruity party back in the days. So Elephant Man kind of try to dry himself from out of that. You see it? Also, we're going to talk about Vibes Cartel, who is set to hurt politicians' heart when he's officially released from prison. So I'm play a video with a brother that talk about Cartel and what going to happen when time cartel free and all the politicians them are gonna get heartache <laughs> anyway my people before we go no further into the topics don't forget for like share and subscribe also head over to my instagram page mix up time for but i definitely appreciate that all right people so the first thing we're gonna talk about is ivani and a conversation that was released with ivani speaking from behind bars of course you know so ivani was recently arrested and she did actually get two more additional charges on top of the two which she did what she did don't get charged for so Basically, a four charges she gets slapped with right about now. So, it no look good for her. Zine, right here, so she might get deported. All kind of things are swirling in relation to Ivan upon the internet. So, I'm going to actually read the article. Zine, on top of that, I'm going to play a video with, you know, it's like they must say, oh, Ivan in a really know which part of her baby there. And it, it, the whole situation sad, my people. May I tell you no. Anyway, this is what the story is saying. Ivan speaks out from jail in release phone call conversation. Jamaican social media personality Ivan Wright is crying out for help following her arrest in the United States. Ivan has been in custody since April 4th and released audio recordings of her speaking have revealed the dire situation she's facing. The recordings were shared with the public by spiritual reader RT Boss, whom Ivan is seeking assistance from after others have seemingly failed to help her. In the voice note, Ivani can be heard speaking sadly, detailing that she has not had the opportunity to bathe for three days since being in custody. IT boss stated that she is under maximum lockdown due to two counts of terrorist threats and acts. She also faces charges of harassing communica communications and criminal damage to property, second degree damage greater than $500. Additionally, it was revealed that she does not know the whereabouts of her baby. RT boss indicated that the baby was left in someone's care, but Ivan is unaware of the baby's current location. Notably, RT boss also shared that Ivan's ex-boyfriend Howie is filing for custody of the baby. Ivan is crying. She go to the police with the intention just to check herself in and bond herself back out and forgot pick up back the baby, he said. Additionally, it was revealed that the attorney who was supposed to represent Ivani had abandoned her due to the publicly, the publicity, my bad, the publicity surrounding Ivani's case. Furthermore, in the voice notes, Ivani expressed that she would prefer the U.S. Immigration and Custom Enforcement ICE to take her away rather than remain at the Henny County Jail. If ICE come for me, me not mind. If ICE come for me, ICE just come for me. So me can move from right to the prison here, she said. She also revealed that a female is pushing the charges against her. Yes, my people. So that's what's going on with Ivani. Ivani don't know which part of her baby there. Can you imagine? The baby they've reached six months old yet, you know, my people. What a sad situation. And on top of that, Ivani gets slapped with four charges, my people. And one of them, me I tell you, you see that one about terroristic threats. You know, say America not play when it comes to them type of thing. You understand? So, what for really watch and say, me just hope as it relates to our baby, our baby is in like good care, zen, because. <laughs> me know she must love her youth. So for you there prison or jail, me should have said cause in a prison she there. You there lock up and they even know where you're pitting there right now. Your, your baby basically missing. You understand what I say my people? Don't know where your baby there. Hey girl, if I see you I give you a blood clot if I ever see you in a real life. Because right. bastard did a raise money for the baby. All and right. you come to go, you don't know. Um the baby is fine, the baby is fine. I know the girl don't know where your baby there. Girl, yes, girl. 
You see, you tired, you see, you. Oh, you have to have your friend lock up. And you know, jump on a blood clad plane and go go rescue yeah, your friend. Because they won't be Ivan, yeah. you can't be Ivan. Ivan is surplus. But I'm sorry, man, you see? Nah, why, boy, just work with me. me so, when you can tell me anything about this in the comment section, yeah, man. I'm just going to move on to the next topic now. So, as I did I say, a dancehall artist, I call out Sir P, right? And basically, I accuse Sir P of being the one for kind of instigate certain crime and violence while going on in Jamaica right now. Of course, you know, so Sir P is a man to speak out as it relates to, like, gangs and certain little things. But the artists who I speak out were talking about animosity. This is the second video, I think, with animosity I talk about Sir P. But he must say Sir P, I go off for, like hearsay and not facts zine and that kind of cause a lot of division and you know make certain i guess gangs or factions go against them one another you understand my people so let me get to this video only can tell me if you don't agree with what um hanama city is saying in the comment section mm -hmm. sir p sir p are you me come for address can we get to find out say you as a youtuber you are trying to paint a narrative like you are against crime and violence in a Jamaica and you are helping eradicate crime and violence in Jamaica. When in actuality you are doing the opposite. You are actually causing crime and violence in Jamaica. You are causing turf war. You are causing family for pre-family. You are causing wally for shooting and killing in a Jamaica. Because here what? You don't get your facts them straight. You are going off a hearsay. Two little people. Send two message to your inbox and you come out come talk like you did dead, like you have evidence. You now come out come talk like it's an allegation. You get to me, I say, and oh, me prove this. Me hear you talk about one youth, one little youth, who drop out in a hundred. See, when the youth drop out, then post up a picture with the youth. The youth have a prop gun, basically a plastic gun, because them that shoot music video the day in a hundred. And the youth somehow take up the gun and take a picture with it. And people when I like the youth post up the picture. We said the youth did involve in a crime and violence and the youth never shoot a fly from him born. The youth they not involve in a no crime. A youth I know personally. You get to me I say? Alright. Next thing again, me and you talk about mad cabra. I say mad crabber now come back a road. And when me look me see mad crabba come back a road in no time. You say squash now come back a road, squash come back a road in no time. Then me see I talk about Tommy Thompson, bright light. Bright light is like a father to me. Bright light and me, and me bridging. See, me and the man they do business together, music business together, par with bright light, up and down. See, them man there, where you try to bring cross, pan them man there, see them man there, burn body and I do them thing there, make lizard miss now and them something there. Not no go like what you say. The man they don't own a cremator. You get to me, I say, so you need to get your facts straight. People try to mix up cartel and bright light in the lizard case because bright light and cartel used to do a lot of business together, a lot of shows in the last part before cartel go to jail. You get to me, I say, before cartel get locked up, bright light and cartel did that do a lot of show because we used to their own bright light. You get to me, I say, you, Sir P, people come in your inbox and I tell you things. And you come out and I talk like you did dead, like you, you're deaf on the scene. You now come out and I say, Here, say, you cause enough innocent youth for dead. You cause enough war for you go on in the country, brother. If you don't get your facts them straight, brother, I bet you don't say nothing. You get to me, I say, at one point, me realize, say, you target one set of party. Me notice you target one set of party. What I tell you for one day, if you work for your particular party. When I tell me here, you target clansman, clansman, clansman. You just a target one party. I mean, hardly once in a blue moon, me ever hear you say nothing about one other. You get to me, I say? So, Sir P, you need to get your facts straight. See? Because you is no longer credible. You see me? Yeah, my people. So, and I agree. I feel like the therapy actually make things worse because what I say is like you might get the news from somebody and maybe sometimes the people they might tell lie and all these things are... Are you one of those persons who take Sir P word as law? Anything where him say, I saw it go. 
LZ because of course a lot of persons rely upon Sir P for them daily updates in relation to you know certain things were going on especially when you might expose like the artists them and them thing but maybe if you not agree with what Anamacity is saying in the comment section all right next thing we're going to talk about is Elephant Man who was one signed to Puff Daddy Making the people them know say him never used to go on a freaky party back in the days with Puffy. You understand him never used to attend none of them party there. Him a bad man and him not depend on that. Let me actually get to this article. Only can tell me anything. From what day we see Elephant Man a clear out him name as it relates to P. Diddy. Him even do a song. I'm not sure if it come out yet, but we know either him a do a song or him preview a song or something where him a talk about Puffy and a you know, I'm about not certain things. Anyway, this is what the article is saying. Elephant Man says he never attended Diddy's parties. Dancehall energy god Elephant Man was the ultimate vibe master in his heyday, but you could never catch him at Diddy's party. The hip hop mogul is facing a slew of civil lawsuits centering on sex trafficking, abuse, and other things. Several of the lawsuits placed the allegations at freak out parties held by Diddy. In their own cases, Diddy ex Cassie and producer Little Rod described these events as opportunities to secretly record high-profile guests in compromising acts for the purpose of blackmail. Diddy, whose aliases include Puff Daddy, P. Diddy and Love, has denied all allegations and has not been charged. Ellie was briefly signed to his Bad Boy Entertainment from 2006 to 2009 and says he never attended any of the parties. It never so deep for me go over Puffy's side for like party. No, he reasoned with Pierre Noah Power on Instagram Live on Monday. Members say a queen were there at the time, you know, after parties in a Queens, so we never catch none of them parties something they with Diddy. He argued that had he been present, there'd be digital proof. First of all, if we there a party, you know everybody are gonna sit that and that I go post differently. If we even go party, we not care what them are do round that for them side, but no, we never gonna party. I see him keep one with a big red in the yard and never catch none of them. The story goes that Ellie was about to hit the stage at Hot 97 on the reggae tip in 2005 when he was told that Diddy wanted to sign him. The acclaimed producer had previously seen him in action at Madison Square Garden in New York with Usher. May I say, I what am I really at all, but what you mean? I say, all right, watch me and him. I call P. Diddy on stage and gave him a big giant mumpy. I bring him down to our thing. Give him little roughness. Evidently, Diddy liked it and partnered with VP Records to distribute and marketed all things LA. When Puffy signed me, I carried the whole of my friend them from Dancehall over the cars I had a studio for myself where at Deso I do my productions. The fruit of the labor was Elephant Man's Grammy nominated album Let's Get Physical, which featured tracks like Feel the Steam with Chris Brown, Throw Your Hands Up with Rihanna, and 5 0 featuring Wyclef and Diddy. It debuted at number two on the Billboard Reggae album chart and number 38 on the R&B slash hip hop album charts. Big up P. Diddy said we, I don't business way him do, our way him did a do, our way him jump in a. I just hope father God help him out. When I did that album for him, Let's Get Physical, that's the first Grammy nominated album for O'Neill Brian me. Enough people never remember say, me did nominate for Grammy, you know, with that album, you know, Let's Get Physical for Bad Boys. Despite his well wishes for P. Diddy, Ellie is making his stance known about his former label head in his new release No Shaky. Yes my people, so the song name No Shaky. The elephant man just wanted to be known say him not upon the shaky business as it. Don't really know if all of them things that, that is being said about Diddy if it's true or if them a try just bring him down because I don't know. I don't know. Maybe him piss off the wrong set of people. I don't know but you know obviously if I feel like if the feds them did for arrest him, they would have do it already because them come in my yard, raid the place. I think them they take with some footages as well where they must have go look on and them thing the zine and this gun but over a week ago. So them not arrest Puffy all now. So it look like no evidence no did they? Or maybe they might get up a portion of evidence for those sinking as it. But Elephant Man just want people for know say he never gone none of them freaky party there, alleged freaky party there back in the days, is it? Let me know if you don't believe what Elephant Man I say in the comment section, is it? So the next thing we're gonna talk about is Tony Mataran thanking the people them for showing support and you don't know all of the well wishes and them thing they see it. Yesterday Tony Mataran posted a video and the people them know same they do a minor surgery, seeing my people and something they wrap around him head. In this video here where I thank the people, the things still wrap around him head. So it seemed like him did some form of surgery upon him head or whatever. But you don't know him all right now and him out of the hospital, seeing him the inner the hospital bed when him post the video. 
zine. But anyway, I'm going to tell the people them, you know, say thanks for the support and them thing there. Let me get to this video now and you can tell me what you're thinking in the comment section. Yeah, big up to all the well wishers, them, you know. Then just wake up. I try dizzy them. <laughs> I feel dizzy. But I'm good. Thanks to everybody. Yeah. I look at surgery and my head got them so i too mad. So I'm all right. Big up to each and everyone. Stay safe out there. I don't know the thing out yet. Outside, but what? Yeah. Yeah, man. So in the caption, he says, Thanks to the Most High God, 100. Bless up to all my well wishers, and I'm good. Soon be back to my normal self, and thanks again for y'all prayers, you see. So that's how Tony Matarana for say. Just I thank the people him for the love and support, you see. So big up yourself, Matarana, and just, you don't know. Have a speedy recovery. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is Tifa exposing the truth in relation to her fallout with Ramesh. You understand, my people? Some people might have known that Tifa and Ramesh no say eye to eye. She also accused Ramesh of trying to sabotage her career and them thing there. Let me get to this article. Only can tell me anything about this in the comment section. All right. So it's a Tifa talks fallout with Ramesh Major. Dancehall artist Tifa believes the nuance of fame ultimately separate the real from the fake. She was once friend with entertainment mogul Ramesh Major, sporting his design during his earlier entrepreneurship years. These days, she's blasting him for allegedly trying to sabotage her career, reason for what she doesn't foresee a reconciliation. I don't think about him, but I don't think we will we will ever be friends again. She recently said on Tea Time with Shelly. And Koran, the host once working in marketing at Digicel, was behind signing Tifa as an ambassador for the telecoms giant. The brand is one of several. The Spell It Out act went on to represent in corporate Jamaica and novelty for a female dancehall artist at the time. Anyway, we'll leap on money there and fame there. You have to go dog eat dog situation. Everybody have to fight for them space and for them money. Tifa reason. Remember, you put me in a position where you make me basically commercialize dancehall. I was at a space where I literally had every endorsement in Jamaica, from Digicel to Bigger to all BMW. When you're in a position like that, people are going to want to knock you off because they feel like you're sitting on an empire or you depend on the empire too long or she not deserve it for whatever reason. This contributed to her decision to relocate to the United States, where she took a hiatus from music to recenter herself. She returned to the scene last year, but as she tells it, some things remain the same. In promoting her single, Big Head Boy, last month, Tifa claimed Major was behind the shadow banning of her social media accounts via employee trolls. Every time I have a new song I come out, Every time something I go on, them always a shadow ban my page. Them report me, she said in a live stream. That little fat SHIT will come from Rona the Boulevard. At what point does the obsession with Tifa end? Because when I try to end me, when I try to take me out of the business, when I try to do everything for hold me down, so fit when the people them can reach, me give her enough time, me decide to me come back into the business. So what is the problem? She went on to speak on his alleged army of promo girls who flood block comments with disparaging remarks this was first echoed by tj in january who claimed his former boss would activate his supposed group if anyone violated his camp major addressed the claim in a blog comment section so how many never see the 300 girls them over pink wall and everywhere i take up for me when me i get bashing major argued in a post the rift between tifa and major first played out publicly in 2017 when she said he was trying to erase her legacy by hailing Shensia as the first female to land three major corporate brand deals in one year. The Dash Out hitmaker refuted his claim by sharing her signing with Digicel, Stewart's Automotive Group, Bigger and Fly Jamaica in one year. Among other multi-signings over a 12-month period, Tifa's overarching message was that it was fine to end as an artist without revisionist history, a stand she maintains today. If Uno is that great, Uno should not try to hold me down. If Uno is that great, and Uno people them is that great, and Uno artists them is that great, why they need to get rid of me? She later go on to wish them all the best, but not before declaring that she won't be bullied out of the industry again. Whether Uno like me or not, the song them are going to come out and them are going to vice 
this and you know me give you a whole five six years for right and record that entire time so guess what when i have to just get used to it and on and them and on finger them and on brain them it's going to hurt enough to type tifa is back and there's not a damn effing thing you can do about it take it up with god so yeah my people it seems like tifa is back and she's ready for take over the place and thing is it but as it really is to something which you say like ramesh having bag of girls them you know spam your page with certain type of comments and them thing there and you know that i guess that would help shadow ban your page or i guess reporting the page will help you get shadow ban and i believe that I don't feel like the people just uh, make up that rumor there as it relates to Ramesh. I don't know whether or not it's, that is true, my people, but I don't know. I mean, just not believe it, but it can be true because I don't know Ramesh, so I don't know what he's capable of doing, but I don't know. That does sound a way to me still, but that is my personal opinion. It's not the gospel, is it? Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Vibes Cartel, who is said to hurt a lot of politicians' heart after and bust off the case. You understand, my people? Now, it has been what, a couple of weeks now, about a month or so, since the whole um, squashing of Vibes Cartel and his co-accused case, right? You know what I'm about the UK Privy Council appeal, yeah, appeal. So the people are waiting to find out if there's going to be a retrial. Of course, the last update is that the DPP is pushing for a retrial. We see people are born out. We see LA Lewis are trying OBR. But we don't know how long it will take for us to know if well, in fact i go get a retrial but also did hear so like the um the privy council them them did for sign some papers or something like so and send to the the, the the government out here and i guess the process would be started not sure if that actually happened yet um i feel like it not happened yet because i think i would probably see an article Trust me, I feel like the star or the gleaner would have put out something with that. But anyway, I brother put out a video basically I talk about how the, the, the government will are the big politicians, I should I say. I gotta feel very hurt whenever Vibes Cartel walk out of the prison there. But I actually play this video. Only can tell me if you believe this or not. Mm -hmm. All I know, I just want to say this. <coughs> just this alone, I want to say, Zane. You see when cartel come around? Yo, theater. You see, what, you see the government system of Jamaica, the whole of them and the politicians, them when cartel come a road. Hmm. We don't know the light person with the chance on up on them. Eh? You see, you, you, you hear the sound when, when it busts? Are they mad? Are they mad? They mad go bust like them chance on They mad say boom, boom, clap, dog, bust the case. Trouble in it. You think Bob Marley finna really dig it? Wait till cartel free. Traffic jamming all that bumbo clad. You hear me tell you no? Jamaica, Jamaica road I go pack like KFC on Friday night time like nobody know. Yeah man, so that's what's going on my people. A lot of persons want update with cartel, but you see, when I have to remember say, people them did that cause Isaac Buchanan and same chat too much what they and this and that, you know. Zine even foot the hype forward out and did go live when I say Isaac Buchanan and chat too much and them thing there. So yeah now if you don't want the man to talk about the case or you don't have to make up on the mind. Is he don't want him to talk about it and give you no updates or you know, just not get no updates on at all, is it? I kinda like when him keep certain things to himself still, but I know say an attorney job is for you know when I say boost him client ego and also, you know, put out where that's you know good things in the atmosphere because he's very confident that the cartel are going to beat the case and things so me go watch and see anyway my people let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section and thanks for watching the video don't forget to like share and subscribe bless upon yourself until i drop the next video i'm out